What's up, YouTubulous? EXO coming at you today with the first series of unboxing videos for the big MBX project in my girlfriend's 04 Chevy Impala. We're going to go ahead and start with the amp here. This is the NVX JAD 1200.1. Already really impressed by the size of it. It'll be really beneficial for uh, the cramped space in the trunk there because I don't want to use the whole damn thing. We still want to be able to go on trips and stuff like that. It's uh, a Class D monoblock amplifier, as you can probably tell by the name of it, the JAD series. Rated right at 1200 watts, 340 amp fuses right there. Comes with hardware. That's the owner's manual. We'll get into that later. And I'll also throw up some various picks of the amplifier as I'm opening it. It's very solid, you can just knock on it and feel that it's high quality um, aluminum. Oh, great! It already has the uh, end caps mounted right on it. That's sometimes a pain in the butt to have to, have to do that and line it up. Take the cellophane off it here. Oh yeah, very nice heat sink. Gotta love that. Oh, they're extra fuses, that's nice. They're extra fuses, there's already three in there. And I wanna tell you this right now, I'm already excited because I saw this little red piece right here the other day, but I haven't mentioned it yet. Look at this, really cool. You plug this in to your power terminal, and then there you go. Slam dunk in the trunk with slightly bigger wires. Uh, this is looks like an exaggerated four gauge, but uh, damn, that looks almost like some zero gauge from companies, but awesome. Low pass subsonic and the uh, gain right there, very awesome. Inputs and outputs, just in case we have another amplifier, which we do. Looks like this NVX logo illuminates too. I'm not sure which color, but when we get it on the test bench, we'll be able to see all that stuff. Oh, and I want to make one point. These amp, these little end caps, these are metal too. It's not a plastic end cap like you see some amplifiers that comes, you know, like it'll be tucked away in these right here. This is actually all metal. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a little base knob. Check this out. Another question I get about bass knobs a lot is, uh, is it a gain? And no, it's not a gain. It's more or less, as far as your signal goes, it more or less just attenuates, uh, you know, from min to max right there. Check it out. Some have a clipping indicator. This has like a, a runtime light, a little green, uh, green is go light on there. So that'll come in handy. Here's the wires for it. So that's what comes in the box right there. Your uh, bass knob, your 12 volt terminal, little adapter piece, and obviously this beautiful little stout little thing, 13 inches from end cap to end cap, but amplifier is less than a foot. Really, that's pretty damn great. So it looks like they measured it from cap to cap. So let's go ahead and put this aside and check out the amp kit. Ah, here we go. This was also very exciting when I first saw it because I didn't realize how, that something this heavy was a, a real put together. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy the box because I already tried doing it once, but here we go. Woo! Ooh, we got zip ties too. Here we go. Installer's dream. Oh, I see. I see what they want. This is from the front to the back and this is to the amp. So that's why they gave us the distro blocks. That's an appropriate sheath right there. You'll see some stuff like, I don't want to say names, but you know, no, install bay. I'll just say it. Sometimes their sheath is just way too exaggerated. All plastic, no metal. But this is real great. Nope, they even put a little fire shield, a uh, little uh, heat shield for the, uh, going into the firewall area. That's real nice. The terminals on there are ultra solid. For an amp kit, you can't go wrong, you know? You really can't go wrong with this. There's our remote wire. Oh, nice. They even had it all wrapped up for you good so nothing's gonna get all tossed around. There's one of the, few oh, is this a fuse block? Very nice, little a 300 amp right there. They said on the box this is a 3,000 watt capable little amp kit, so that's only appropriate right there to have a 300 amp fuse. Here's the other various terminals it's coming with for the um, going to the amplifiers themselves. Little butt connectors, just stuff that you really need when you're going through the firewall. Little grommets like this. Check that out, really cool. I've already gotten some comments about Chevy Impalas being a pain to run zero gauge through. In some installs, you're gonna really need some flexible wire, so let's do the ultimate test right here. Let's do the pretzel test. Look at that. Bam. My, it's all slippery, but it can definitely get a little smaller than that. But my fingers were slippery. Check that out. Tied it right in the knot. That'll definitely get through any tight area that you can need it to. There's the distro, beautiful. Here's the fuse block, 300 amp fuse block. Here's the actual wires that are gonna go to the amplifiers once we distribute them from the trunk. Here's the various little terminals that we're gonna need for them. Remote wire, of course. And then the big boys right here. The big copper tops with the beautiful terminals and the heat shield for the firewall. Can't go wrong with that. Very excited to even use these. 
this is my first like real amp kit, so that's it's really cool. I usually buy everything separately and uh, and, and go from there. So here we go. There's the amplifier right here. Amplifier, bam, and the amp kit. These two things are gonna work in harmony. So let's go ahead and uh, in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and fire them up on the uh, test bench upstairs, the amplifier. I'll probably just use the uh, wires that are attached to my battery upstairs. So I don't have to you know, you know cut these any shorter than I have to. But uh, yeah, definitely look out for that video next. I'm gonna fire up this MBX amp and get the subwoofers, which are in the next little uh, unboxing videos. We're gonna get those moving a little bit and see how she, uh, see how she takes those lows with a little bit of free air. So uh, definitely thanks for thumbs up in the video. This is gonna be a great project for us all to you know, learn some stuff. I've never done an Impala install, so I'm looking forward to it. So until the next uh, little un uh, series of unboxing videos, click the link at the end here. There's gonna be a little part two. We're gonna get into the RCAs and the speakers, and we might even fire one up as a little bonus, little footage at the end of that on, on my receiver upstairs before I get these amps uh, uh, all set up. So all right, you two this is EXO. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.